Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I wanted to show you how to use your TI-84 Plus to solve binomial distributions. For this problem, we're going to assume that our probability of success is 60% and that the uh, number of people in our trials is 9. And we, the, this says that a study shows that 60% of adults over 25 have more than $8,000 of credit card debt. If you select 9 adults at random, what is the probability that? Exactly two people have more than 8,000. At most, five people have more than 8,000. Less than six people have more than 8,000. At least four people have more than 8,000. More than five people have more than 8,000 out of your nine people that you select. So each one of those is sort of different. So we want to look at all those examples, or you can just skip forward in the video if you just want to see one particular one. And we're going to be using the binome PDF for a single value like A and the binomial CDF if for X or fewer successes, though the rest of those are going to use the CDF button. And those steps are written down there below. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So um, we have nine trials and we have a probability of 60%. What is the first one said? What if exactly two people? So when we think about that, here's nine people that we talked to and exactly two people exactly two. These are the, the possibilities. We could have one person, we could have two people, we could have three people. And this one, exactly two people in our study said that they um, had that much debt. So we're going to enter into our calculator. Um, we're going to enter second function distribution, which is over the VARS, V-A-R button. And then we're going to, I'm going to scroll up because it's faster. You can go up or down. You'll get there eventually. For a single value, we're going to use the PDF function and we're going to hit enter. And it's going to ask you how many trials do you have? What is the probability of success? 0.6 and how many X value, what X value? We, we, we've talked to nine people and exactly two of them had um, this much debt. So our value is two and then hit enter and then enter again. And that's going to put that into that format and you hit enter one more time and this is the probability that you get. So exactly two means what's the probability that x equals two? And that is about, I'm just going to go out three places, zero to one or 2.1 percent if we were doing this. Okay, but the rest of those we're going to be using the binomial CDF function and the CDF function assumes that you're talking about that number or less but first let's talk about what does at most five mean that we could talk to people and find out that five people in our study had that much debt we can't that's the biggest number at most we could have talked to people and maybe four of them would have it maybe three maybe two maybe one. So this isn't one value. This is a whole kind of a list of values starting at five and going down. That's what at most means. So if I look about it at it this way, the probability that X is less than or equal to five is what I'm looking at. So I'm going to use binomial CDF and these are the three values that I want to put in there because I know there's nine trials, 60%, and it's uh, five or less. So the CDF means or less. So I'm going to do um, second function bars. This time when I go up, make sure you go to the CDF function. And then we have nine trials. We have a probability of 0.6 and we want to know what if it was five or less. You can hit enter a few times there. It gets it into your calculator. Hit it one more time and you can get that probability. And that probability that we have here is 0.517 or about 51.7%. So very likely that five or less people in our group would have that, almost ha a little over half of them. All right, what about if I said less than six? Well, this is a s interesting because I'm saying it's less than six. So that does not mean that it's six. It means it's less than that. So I could talk to people that had five, or maybe five, four, three, two, or one, Less than six is exactly the same thing as the one previous because less than six, these are discrete numbers. We can't get five and a half people. So if it's less than six, then it's five or four or three or two or one. So we actually have the same exact problem as the last one. And then if we put that in, we know that that's 0.517. And that would go in as a five, even though it says six in the problem, but it's less than six.
Okay, the last two are a little more complicated because remember the CDF function goes to the left, everything to the left. But if we're saying at least four, what we're saying is at least four. It could be four, but at least that. It could be we talked to people and five of them had debt, or six of them, or seven of them, or eight of them, or nine of them. That's what at least four means. And so I can't look at this to the right because the calculator calculates it to the left. So what we want to do is calculate this stuff to the left and then subtract that from one because the probability of the stuff over here plus the probability of the stuff over here adds up to one. So we're going to use the complement of that. In other words, we're going to say one minus the probability that x is less than or equal to three because the probability x is less than or equal to three would give us this part. And if we take that from one, then we're left with all of this part. So we're actually going to put into our calculator, put a three there, and then um, put that one minus that in the calculator. So let's do that. We're going to say one minus, and then do this, do um, second function entry. And that's the last thing that we entered. And so we don't have to enter that all again. We can just go back here and change that to a three. We can also go into normal CDF and type all that in again, but we can just hit that second function entry and bring up the last thing that we entered. So now if we hit enter, um, it's going to tell us that one minus the binomial CDF. Did I not do the one minus part? I don't see that in there. This is the binomial uh, CDF for point for three. So I don't see that I subtracted that from one. So then I could say one minus the answer, second function answer, is 90, it equals 0 0.901, or about 90% of the time, people we talk to would be four or more of them would have that. that. That sounds pretty realistic. And so if we do the same thing for more than five, we're going to think about more than five. So that's a little interesting too because it's saying more than five, not five. So that means it's six, seven, eight, or nine. And again, that's to the right, so we want to look to the left. So we want to say, what if it's less than or equal to five? And we want to say one minus that, one minus the probability that x is less than or equal to five. And we already know that answer from up there. So what I could do is put that in again, or I can um, just subtract that from one to start with. But let's do this second function entry. Oh, that was my answer, sorry. What's the last thing I entered? Let's go back to second function. Let's just do it again. Distribution, I'm gonna go up to binomial CDF, hit enter. Um, nine trials, and that was the last one that I entered was that five, so perfect. I'm going to just hit that up and get that answer. That's where I got that answer, and I'm going to do one minus second function answer, and that's going to give me this answer that we could have got from just subtracting from up there. Four, eight, three. But I wanted to see you to see um, how to do those. So there are a lot of different variations in there. This video got a little bit long. Hopefully you got what you needed out of it. I hope you have a fantastic day.